Hi everyone, Neil DeCaro Scuolo here. I am so sorry this video is long overdue. This video is of what I got at the Goodwill bins. Um, my gosh, I think it's been a week ago. There's just been a lot going on and so um, uh, I haven't been able to do a video, but let's just start, okay. So let me turn this around. And there's a lot to show. Um, first of all, I believe this is folk art. Isn't that cute? Let me pick up my camera there. And of course, it is a um, wind chime, I guess. Hang it up, but I just think that it's so cute. If I don't keep it, because you know, there's always something I wanna keep and I really like this, um, I will probably sell it for around uh, 20 uh, t between 20 and 25 dollars okay let me put that aside and i've been collecting for christmas so this is just a little santa right here i'm going up and down so y'all can see let me put this down i got this phone and it hooks right there these will go through there like that so and i will probably sell this for about eight dollars this I got at the Goodwill bins also, and I did look it up, and I think I already posted this. This I already posted, uh, and right now I'm, I, I do Facebook Market, and this is on Facebook Market for $15. It's metal. It's got the bird behind the cage and the hook. You could do, use it for so many different things. Um, towel holder, jewelry, um, I don't know, just... You could even put it in your bathroom or just just use it as wall decor. Okay, put that aside. I found this. I took it out. It was already brand new. It says, I am Jesus' little lamb. Is that not adorable? It has a tag and everything still on back. And I have a friend that wants this, and I'm selling that to her for $10. Okay. Here we just have a little uh, planner. I have, I'm a big on collecting planners. So this is a planner. If that I don't keep and use myself, I will probably sell for about eight to $12 right there. Um, this, this, Goodwill, this Goodwill Bin Hall, oh my gosh, I know I posted in one of my groups I don't remember if it was $37 or $42. I am so sorry. I just don't remember. But I love this right here. That's also a wall hanging. And it's it's just beautiful. I will probably sell that between $10 and $12. I just think it's gorgeous. So, put that aside. I went ahead and washed this. I have to iron it. And I haven't put it back together yet. But I just think it's adorable. And it went with this little frame right here. So once I get it back together, I wash everything. Uh, once I get back together and, you know, someone really took their time in making that. I will probably post that for about, you know, 10 to $12. I really post uh, items. Not really. I don't believe I post them real expensive. This was just a plain canvas board that I picked up that I thought I could put anything on it or let my grandson paint on it. And so um, we'll probably just keep that. Also, I found this little thing, doodad. It's a, a 15A 125 volt rated circuit breaker and I'll probably give that to my father. Um, I, you know, I bought a house in Puerto Rico and so I'm collecting things for there. And this was in the bins the toilet hoe, you know, toilet roll paper holder. And it even has the, the parts in the back. It's brand new, so that I'm gonna keep. You know, I told you there's always something I'm gonna keep. This is a Roman uh, Rockwell, a day in the life of a boy by Norman Rockwell. And the frame does have a little chip there. I might uh, repaint the frame, kind of sand that a little bit. Um, but I think that painting will sell for about, um, I don't know, $12, $15. So just with the things that I've mentioned, 
I'm already into profit. I've already paid. I think this Goodwill bin haul was either 37 or 42, but you know, I've made other hauls since then, so um, I just can't remember. I have a dog, a Rottweiler, so even though I've cleaned all this, the hair, this is so cute too. This just says, there's no perfect way to be a good mother. Each situation is unique. Each mother has different challenges, different skills and abilities, and certainly different children. What matters is that a mother loves her children deeply by Elder M. Russell Ballard. And I just think that was, I just thought that was too, too cute. So um, I just know that will sell. And I'll probably sell that for probably around $5. It's just a, a plastic frame, but the saying is just wonderful. I went ahead and got this because I know there's a lot of people that collect. A lot of people think, uh, believe, you know, Ronald Reagan was one of our great presidents. So um, this was professionally framed at uh, Cantrell Gallery. And I haven't done the comps on this. I apologize, but I have not done a comp on a Reagan uh, picture, but I'm pretty sure it'll probably go for around 15 20 Oh, what I don't have out here is a bunch of CDs. They're still in my car. Oh, that just moved on me. Let me straighten that out. I'll kind of put it towards there so y'all can see that way. Uh, this movie, Atonement, I'll probably just give it to the kids. This is just a little cute little porcelain bear. Isn't she precious? She'll probably just sell for about 3 or $4. Uh, Landon wants to keep the Mario, so we'll set the Mario's aside for him because I picked up some Mario's for him. And then he also likes this flashlight. I think this is pretty cool. It's one of those flashlights that you, you have to pump it. Oh, yeah. Hey, there you go. You got to pump the flashlight and then it shines. So he'll probably keep that little penguin there. I have no idea who this little guy is, but it looks, Landon says it's a spoon. So it's a little guy and a spoon. It looks like a space alien. <laughs> okay, let's see what's in here. This was, were. yeah, I'm on the really? video. Mm -hmm. This is just a little Japan, probably gravy uh, spoon that I picked up. And Did you show them the wiping? Honey, I haven't gotten that far yet. And so I don't know if I'm going to keep that or sell it. I don't know. I just picked up some little doodads. This could, I re, when I have time, I also refinish furniture. And so, um, when I feel good and I got that for that purpose, this goes, this is on YouTube, honey. I'm on, I'm live right now. Go check I, out Rick and Brink. Hold on, baby. This is just some finials that I picked up. You never know. You can, you never have too many of that. This is also um, some wiring it's for, a floor, uh, for a lamp, and you can turn it off from the floor. So I, I grabbed that, stick that in there. And here's some more lamp stuff that I grabbed for parts because I did have to rewire my duck uh, uh, mid-century lamp, and I already have that posted on Facebook Market for $100. This is so pretty, and I did look this up. Now, from memory, I don't know, I think it was like 29 It went for 29 or 39 It's uh, from India. Um, I don't know if that's silver-plated, but it's got the Mother Pearl inlay. And I will probably, it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's kind of used, but it's still a really, really pretty piece. And I'll probably post that for about $20. Okay, this is what he was talking about. He wanted to know if I had mentioned the little lighter yet this is a lighter that was at the goodwill bins you know you got to put the fluid in and it was made in japan it says something else i can't read it and so you know it just needs fluid and it does spark so i hadn't even i don't know we haven't talked about how much we're going to sell that for it says gas on the top i haven't looked it up these were so cute and i couldn't find um see no evil these I searched and searched these little birds. Of course, this is here, no evil. This is speak, no evil. And the one I see, no evil, we couldn't find. And these are made in China. And, um, of course, if I don't keep them, I'll probably just sell them for about $6. Because there's just that one missing. 
Landon wants to go back to the Goodwill bins sometime this week with me, so we may try to look for it. I'm, I only want to go back to see if I can find here, more. Let me put it on here so they can see you. I only want to go back so I can find more Avenger little things. Oh, yes. Let me show you. I picked up a little Avenger. He says a panther. And Black so, Panther. Black Panther in it. I guess you move it. It's little arm moves or something. I don't know how that works. His little arm moves. So, this is brand new. And I, to be honest with you, I haven't looked it up. I, it's a table craft press and i'm sure i guess it's cooking a hamburger steak bacon or whatever you sit it on there and this is really heavy i bet you these go for about yeah, 20 25 dollars it's heavy oh here we go again he wants to show off his muscles it's, it's like i just got this little pear i'm gonna start collecting some fruit and i found that pear that's fake fruit this is um some christmas play cards and it's a cookie I thought that was a cookie cutter. No, it's it's cards, and I'm the per, uh, my friend that's buying the little uh, cross with the lamb on it. That's gonna be for her granddaughter. There's a lot here. I, I might have to do a two-parter here. I don't know how long this this is gonna cut me off. Here's some little owl uh, salt and pepper shakers, and I'll sell those for six dollars. This is I asked Landon if he wanted it. He said he probably didn't. It is, um, oh, what? it's a boat. It's a sailboat. Yeah, I was going to build that. Oh, you're going to build it? You're going to keep it then? It's, it's a little sailboat. Comes with all the paints. Well, I guess Landon wants to keep that too. This, I believe, and y'all correct me if I'm not, if I'm wrong. It's a Renware. I, it, I believe this is the great cheese. Um, it's brand new and it comes with the cover. And then, you know, I guess when you're grating cheese. And I will probably sell that. Um, I'm not the biggest cook around, so um, I'll have to look that up. I bet you I sell that for about $8. This is an Old Navy scarf. Everything I've washed already. I just love this scarf. And it's Old Navy. And um, it's got some wear to it, but I think the colors are still really pretty. And I think it's still got some good life left into it. And I'm going to sell that for 5 this is just a little hand towel. It was brand new, but I went ahead and washed it. It's from, it says Paris on it. And um, I don't remember if it was a tag. So it doesn't say where it came from, but I'll probably, I don't know if I'll keep that or if I'll sell it for about 2 or $3. I've got some material. And remember, this is all from the Goodwill bins. I'm going to recover some chairs I have in that. Isn't that pretty? I think that's gorgeous. So I'm going to recover some chairs that I have in that. Picked up some St. Patrick Day. They say a dollar on them. So I'll probably sell the two for a dollar. This is, um, what is that? I don't know. I'm trying to see. It says St. Claus and Company Spiral Rulers. I looked all over this trying to see if there was a date because that Santa kind of looks vintage to me. Um, but I can't find a date on that. But it's a cute little toy. It looks like someone at one time was selling it for three, then dropped it to 75. I'll have to look that up and see if there's a date on it. But if it's a vintage, I'll probably sell that for about $5 because a lot of the vintage old things people like to buy. Um, got some little hooks here. I'm not sure if those are for flowers. Or if it's for jewelry, I hadn't really checked. And some little pearls that for the craft things. Don't know what I'll do with those. And this little angel, isn't she gorgeous? I washed her. You know, you got to be careful when you wash things. Look, I'm going to have to fix her little eye there. And I think I'll, I've got a little paintbrush, so I'm going to fix the eye that it came right off. And I will sell that little precious baby for about eight dollars oh yeah here come here let me show them your hat i got them a hat this was from the goodwill bins and we've already washed it finally we found a hat that's big enough to fit his big head and he has a youtube channel called reek and link so he was saying if anybody wanted to subscribe to reek and, reek and link that's r-i-c-a-n-l-i-n-k you can see him on youtube on reek and link this is from India, 
It's a vase. Let me tell you, somebody had it upside down. And I guess you could use it either way. They had a candle in it. But that, to me, is the bottom. And this is the top. And so, um, I guess copper brass vase there. Probably sell that for about $10. It's really pretty. I got me some poinsettias. Those I'm going to keep. That's going to be for some projects. Um, I got a lot of vintage patterns. And they're so cute for little girls. I just love the poodle skirts. The little dresses. And I didn't know I had picked up two of those. And those are all vintage patterns. And those go pretty good. And I think I could probably sell those for about 3 to $5 each. I uh, got two packages of this. This is uh, craft paper strap uh, uh, albums. It sold originally at Hobby Lobby's for $5. So I'll probably sell both packages for, for 5 Oh, we got a Santa Claus over here, and he came in his box. Isn't he cute? Uh, it says 1996. It's made, it is made in China, but he is so cute, and he did come with his own box, as you can see right there. So we'll probably sell Santa for about $5. Okay, moving over here to the table. This is the vintage... Um, clock that I got um, and it's a Seth Thomas I did try to clean it I'm gonna try some more it kind of dried funny right there so I need to get like a dry toothbrush and really just kind of brush that out uh, I try to clean it as best I could I'm afraid to but I, I put a battery in it I'm gonna wait till my dad gets back and take this apart we might have to put a new uh, mechanism in it because even after I put the new battery in, I don't hear anything. So it's not, I, I don't believe it's working. I'm not going to sell anything that's not working. But once we fix it and I restain the frame, I'm probably going to sell that about $25. This is just some cork board for some projects. This, oh my gosh, I just love this little purse. Look, is it not adorable? It's a little owl purse. It was hardly used, as you can tell. It's very nice and clean on the inside. I did clean it, though. And we'll probably sell that little owl purse for $12. Um, and I've not been adding up this. I don't know if anyone else has. Isn't this adorable? And I washed this, too, this little handbag. And it has, it's on, got two wooden sticks. And it's got two pockets in the front. And the center, it's got pockets on the inside. I washed that. I scrubbed that with a toothbrush just to make sure it was, I love the color of that. I will probably sell that for about 15. Here we go. And I know everybody loves these satchels. Here is a satchel. It is so cute. There's nothing wrong with the uh, handle. It's crossbody. It's got so many pockets, and this would be excellent for college person. And I just can't wait to get that online. And I'm probably going to sell the satchel probably for about $15. I may put the purses and everything on Poshmark. Here is a little hat, and I love wearing hats. So this one I'm going to keep for myself. And my son <laughs> told me... This is not titless. This is titless. <laughs> That's a golfing hat. So we'll probably put that online. It's kind of used, but I figure someone will pay about three, three to five dollars for that. And we have our little rabbit there. That's decor. The wheels do not move. I thought the wheels would move and someone could really get that and for a child, but that's just for decor. And I don't know, we'll sell that between 10 and 12. I saw some higher than that, but I don't sell my things real high. I found another vintage purse. This is so cute. It's kind of worn on the inside. The outside is excellent. The handle, they never used the long handle because I put it in after I cleaned it. The handle is brand new. 
but you can tell they did use it because you can see the inside is a little worn but i think a friend of mine that sold she said we can put some felt there and cover that up but it is made in italy and this one is by michael rome his purses uh it wasn't used that much in the inside see it's clean I mean, I cleaned it. It's just where, probably where they opened it and shut it right here. So, um, once we get it looking presentable, I'll probably just sell it for about $20 because it is worn and we're going to fix that worn look inside. But, um, probably sell it for about $20. Oh my gosh, I forgot. This I got, you know, it's one of those lazy Susans that you put in the kitchen and I'm going to keep that. Oh, I forgot I got some stuff over here. Oh, who knows if I'm missing anything. There was so much from this haul. I'm telling you. Oh, I have a bucket. I got a bucket that I really needed a bucket, and I'm keeping it for myself. You know, the mop floor. It's a real good Rubbermaid bucket with a handles. I mean, it was probably a $20 bucket because it's nice. This is a wall hook, of course. Coat hanger for towels or whatever. Um, probably gonna sell that if I don't keep it. Haven't decided. Um, this is placemats for eight. Um, if someone doesn't want them as placemats, you know, you can always use this for craft projects too. But they're in excellent condition. And I haven't decided on a price for that. I love this tray. This tray, anyone that collects teapots would really love this tray. And the tray, it just says Pam Marker on it, uh, made in China. And so I just really, really love that tray. Landon, have I left anything out? Or do you think this is everything I'm thinking? For some reason, oh, the red felt over there. Oh, no, that was the last haul. Okay, this red felt, it's a Christmas skirt. But I am using it. I don't know if y'all saw the chicken, the large chicken. I don't know if I did a YouTube on the large chicken I had gotten. And someone had paper on the bottom of it. I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use this felt to put it at the, on the bottom of things that, so it doesn't scratch tables and stuff. I'm just going to cut it and put it on the bottom of that big chicken and probably put it on the bottom of some other ceramics. So I was thinking we got some pictures, but, you know... Uh, this haul has been sitting here for a while, and I've been working on my organization. And we just moved some stuff. Oh, yeah. We just moved some stuff. I guess we could show you real quick. Bear with me. It's not complete. So, we'll go down the hallway. Oh, and I get my friend's dog is here, so he may just start to bark. This is another spare room in my house, and so I think if y'all, I don't know if y'all saw where I said I had an a old dresser. I don't know why I didn't think about it before. So I put a lot of the small knickknacks in the small dresser. All this stuff in this room is listed already. So all of that is listed. Um, but, you know, I didn't know how Facebook Market worked. I didn't know you had to renew things. So, um... <laughs> Hush, Rico. I know those are still on. I mean, look at this. This looks like a warehouse. <laughs> Landon says it looks like a warehouse in here, but it's not organized yet because I, I also have this other mid-century dresser that um, I got to get the drawers fixed. They, those bottom drawers will not shut, and they need to be shaved a little bit, and I'm waiting for my dad to get back to do that for me. There is my collection of lamps. Um. Hey. I do have these listed right here. Um, I'm trying to remember where I got those. Hmm. Who knows? Um, I do have pictures in here I need to list. Um, I, that is my favorite picture. That is, that's painted, too. Oh, this has been listed. This was from a haul that I got yesterday. I haven't showed that haul yet, but that is uh, Sebring, Ohio. And this is hand-painted. I cannot figure out who the artist is. We have looked it up, looked it up, looked it up. But it's gorgeous. I love that. And um, I'll probably hang on to that a while. This is a mid-century chair that I picked up that 
my friend left her doggies dog food on i just noticed mm. the globe we have looked it up i haven't listed the globe yet but we figured out it is an early 70s globe <laughs> he sound like a cat these are all boxes and everything all this stuff has all been listed and i'm going to be putting it into these drawers all the little stuff the bigger stuff i am getting plastic bins for those there's my dawn painting but yeah it's coming together it's going to be cute um so yeah all this over here this is a pile of stuff this is all going to puerto rico with me this is stuff that i've decided that i wanted to keep but eventually if i have to downsize i'm gonna have to you won't keep the rock uh no the rock that's for halloween that's gonna be selling for halloween so anyway everyone let me turn this around I thought I would show you. There's my sweetheart. Mm -hmm. This is my baby. This is my, this isn't my, no, you're not the youngest. Yes, you are the youngest grandchild. Then it's Joey. He is my youngest baby, boo-boo. This is Landon. Huh. Oh, you know what? We should show him. Before I went back to my maiden name, I was a Johnson, and I got this. What did I do with it? Well, we'll show it in the next video. We'll show y'all in the next video what I got. It is so, so cute. Y'all are going to love it. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you haven't liked and subscribed yet, please do below. It tells you to subscribe on the bottom. Share with your friends. Once we really get this channel and, going, we'll do some giveaways. And um, check out my channel. It's called Reek and Link. R I C A N space L I N K. Boy, he's got to just throw that in there. So y'all have Subscribe. a <laughs> y'all have a blessed night. Peace out.